Before we begin, this tutorial assumes that you've already completed the tutorial uh, on setting up the UDK scripting environment. Uh, this tutorial picks up where that one left off. We have the basic scripts and all that's needed is to implement two new scripts. So in the classes folder, create a new Unreal script file and let's name it tutorial HUD wrapper. Now this script is going to extend the base HUD class and is going to allow us to interface with UDK in that way. And so the second script file is going to be a tutorial SWF wrapper. And this script will extend the GFX movie player class which interfaces with the .swf files. And so now oh, before I copy and paste that uh, we have to make one change to our HUD tutorial info script. Uh, so we'll copy these two lines and what this is basically doing um, and put it in the default properties and what this is basically doing is uh, telling the game that we want to use a custom HUD. And so now I'll go ahead and copy the tutorial HUD wrapper code from the tutorial wiki and replace what was already in the file um, that I created. And then we'll do the same for the tutorial SWF wrapper. And this section is uh, pretty long because this is where the bulk of the interaction actually happens. So copy it all and do the same, just replace it um, with the code that was already in the wrapper class when you created it. And um, let's save that. Now I want to take a little bit of time to explain what's happening in this class. Now I don't want to go over everything because for the most part it is uh, self-explanatory with the comments, but there are some important variables like these for instance are the GFX object variables. Now they are where we're going to save the uh, instances that we created inside of Flash where you had to give it an instance name. Uh, this is That's where we're going to actually store them and that is done here, um, right here. So, so the to access the objects uh, from within the .swf file we use get variable object function and the string that we pass in is the path to the object instance. So depending on how you created your content, uh, well the first thing you need to do is start off with underscore root, but from then on it's it's uh, you access the object from how you built your content. So uh, for instance if you had uh, depth um, within your content, like for instance you had an object that was within an object, then it would be um, the outer object name dot then the inner object name which is what we did here uh, for instance with the health bar uh, we have root dot health area dot health bar and so this is you just use that kind of scheme and you get all the objects that you want to manipulate within the Unreal script and so to manipulate the object um, within your Unreal script you would use these get and set functions uh, for the given whatever given type it is and pass in the member name, which is the name that you would use in action script in Flash. Some example members would be underscore x for the x position of the object, or underscore alpha uh, for the alpha channel of the color of the object, uh, in case you want to make it more transparent or opaque, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, but now the last thing I want to mention is in the default properties here, um, this is our reference to the uh, .swf object that we imported into the UDK editor. So the first part is the package um, name, uh, then dot the group name, dot the uh, name of the .swf file. And so just make sure that is accurate, which it should be, and um, that's it. So now we can actually build and run the game, and we'll see um, our new custom HUD, uh, replacing the old one.
So there are a couple things to point out here. The tilt of our HUD is done in ActionScript as well as the spinning reticle. So that's not actually done in uh, our Unreal script. Um, but the shaking of the ammo box, that's done in our Unreal script and um, it happens every time you fire your weapon. Also when you get hit, the health box blinks and the health bar uh, scales down to accurately show the percentage of health you have left. Um, in addition, the, the ammo number also changes to reflect your actual, uh, the actual amount of ammo you have. And so that's it for the dynamic properties of the HUD.